Hi, I'm Aaron Style from Gardening with Style on Iowa PBS. With summer approaching, you may be thinking about giving your indoor plants a little summer vacation outside. Many house plants really flourish in the warm temperatures and high humidity of an Iowa summer. Here's what you need to know about moving your indoor plants outside for the summer. Most house plants are tropical understory plants, so they're used to low light and warm temperatures, which is why they do so well in our homes. So it's important to remember when we move them outside not to put them in too much light. Even the brightest of indoor locations is only a fraction of the light intensity of a part shade location outside. House plants should be placed in full or part shade for the summer. My shady front porch is the perfect spot. Moving them outside is a big change in environmental conditions, so keep a close eye on them for the first couple of weeks. Watch for any burning or discoloration of the foliage. This could mean that the light is too intense. Some indoor plants, like weeping fig and tropical hibiscus, are prone to leaf drop when moved to a new location. New leaves will emerge in a couple of weeks to replace the lost ones. Watering and fertilizing will change too. Continue to water as needed, knowing that the plants will likely need more frequent waterings because of more growth. They'll also appreciate a little bit of fertilizer being outside. You can use a water-soluble, well-balanced fertilizer at half strength every time you water or every other time you water, or you can use a slow-release fertilizer like this. At the end of the summer, watch the forecast. When temperatures start to get below 45 to 50 degrees at night, you'll want to bring them inside. Isolate the plants when you bring them inside. They may be carrying some insect pests with them, things like mealybug or scale on the foliage or ants in the soil. These issues usually present themselves after a couple of weeks of being indoors. I like to rinse off the foliage before I bring them inside in the fall to help head off any of these issues. Thanks for joining me with this gardening tip on Gardening with Style.